So I've been meaning to do this kind of video for a while now. Um, something uh, less scripted, less um, pandering to the algorithm, less uh, less about the views and more about being real and authentic and uh, honest, I guess. Um, because I feel like I've only really ever given a highly edited version of myself on YouTube so far. Um, I don't really know who this video is for or what it's trying to be, but I do know that I watch these kinds of videos online and I get a lot out of them. So I see the value in them. Um, and when I do find myself in a bit of a dark spot or a bit of a low period or whatever, these videos do really help to know that other people are going through a similar sort of thing as well. Now, I feel like I'm I'm particularly good at talking about my feelings and where I'm at mentally with friends and stuff, particularly for a guy. Um, but I, it feels like a bit of a different ball game when you're putting it out there online and being vulnerable to the entire internet, essentially. Um, but I feel like it's important that this stuff does exist online because people only really put the stuff out there that they want you to see. You know, when things are going well and not so much about the bad, which tends to create a bit of a distorted view on the world and then when anything goes bad with you you think that you're the only one going through it when you're not so i'm gonna try and do these kinds of videos for for my own sake as well as a bit of a check-in um to talk about things that i'm thinking about things i'm going through the things that i have gone through in the past few weeks months in the hope that somebody maybe gets something out of it um this year has been a bit weird um it's been very up and down um you might have noticed that there was a a bit of a gap between the last video that i put out and the video before that i think it might have been about three or four months maybe um basically it's just big life changes um that sort of knocked me out of rhythm um and now i'm temporarily living back home i'm in a new office um and a bit of a and a new life <laughs> i guess um compared to what i thought i was basically made me feel like i needed to disappear for a bit um which i did and uh a few friends of mine was planning a trip to thailand so i booked a ticket and sort of figured the rest out after I booked it. <laughs> um, fast forward a month and I felt like a completely different person when I got home. Um, even when I got back, a few friends of mine was sort of um, making digs at me saying, oh, you've uh, spent a month. I'm listening. Shut up. He's, he's gone away for a month and he's uh he's found himself in thailand and um i that's exactly what happened i think for 
so long I'd been chasing this dream to um, become recognized and um, respected in my field to be to be seen as this really great filmmaker, motion designer, whatever. Um, constantly grafting, working late nights, working weekends and, you know, uh, giving up a lot of my free time to um, chase this light at the end of the tunnel that was never getting any closer um and and because i'd done it for so long um without ever really completely switching off that's that's all i saw was sort of the next job in front of me or the the next you know music video i was making or whatever and it's only been recently when where I've realized that none of that's really important in the grand scheme of things. I know it's kind of um I know it's tricky when you are riding some kind of momentum with work to um think about anything else and a, a lot of other aspects of your life of your life sort of slips you know, to the wayside, I suppose. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, I love what I do. Um, and I'll I'll keep doing it until I physically can't. That's why I've invested so much time and money into doing it that, um, you know, it'll be difficult for me to ever stop one day. Um, I think the time that I had away really gave me the headspace to reevaluate my how I spend my time and my values and my priorities and has basically made me realize that I'm not as career focused as I once thought I was now maybe that's a product of the fact that I have you know worked so hard for so many years that I now have the headspace to sort of relax a bit and put on the brakes, maybe. But at the end of the day, about three quarters of the work that I do is n not fun. Um, it's corporate shit, basically, that pays well. Um, and that's not to say I don't appreciate that work. like it's funded you know it's got me to where i am now at the end of the day but i think what people don't realize is that for every one project that you put up online that looks really cool that you know is for this you know awesome brand or just looks really good or whatever um there were 20 or 30 other small shitty corporate jobs that got me there do you know what I mean? Um, and I don't think it's really talked about enough, um, especially on YouTube, because all you really see is the the shiny, glossy stuff that everyone is sort of aspiring to to do. And you know, I'm I'm guilty for that as well. You know, the stuff that I want to be doing is a million miles away from the mass majority of the work that I am doing at the minute. Um, so it's important to realize that, um, like I'm still relatively young and new to the game, I suppose, and I'm still learning, I'm still aspiring to get to the next thing, um, you know, that the bigger job with, you know, the bigger brand and you know, maybe traveling here or there or whatever. Um, but that's not to say that I'm not grateful for where I am right now. I think it's easy to get caught up in the, um, in this sort of toxic, uh, 
graft mentality um, where you feel like you if you're not working then you're wasting time um, and I have 100% been guilty for that for a long long time um, and that's not to say that you shouldn't work hard it's just taking that time to pause and when I say pause I mean stop completely you know the odd weekend or the odd day here or there off is good don't get me wrong but I'm talking about completely switching off you know that those small pockets of time that you allow yourself are valuable but you're still thinking about okay I've got that job to do I've got this you're still checking your emails you're still checking social media um allow yourself the time extended time to completely switch off like go away <laughs> um don't take a camera don't take your laptop tell everyone on linkedin that they'll have to wait until you get back to allow yourself the time and the space to completely shut off to really start to appreciate the things other than work that are more important um it's, it's taking the time to focus on the more important things um than work like your you know your family your friends your um you know the, the the things that you love to do traveling it sounds really simple but um it's very easily forgotten about when you know you're stuck in the trenches and all you can really think about is that next job because you're riding that momentum and i get it i get it i i'm still terrible for it now but i'm i'm getting better at it there'd be times you know where i wouldn't speak to my family for you know weeks at a time and you start to ask yourself like is that how i want to be spending my time um because without them you wouldn't you know without the support of those people you might not be in the position that you find yourself in i think life is not all about work and it's taken me 10 years to sort of realize that 10 years and a trip to thailand to realize that um <laughs> the world is bigger than the next big job that you've got lined up um and once you realize that all the stress and the anxiety surrounding your work kind of sort of slips away because you because it's not everything that you're making it out to be in your head um and then you start to have fun with it again you start to realize okay yeah this is why i got into it in the first place because i enjoy it isn't that why all creative people are doing the thing that they want to do it's because they enjoy it right i'm not i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm not at all i'm still learning this stuff i still catch myself um from time to time with my head in my work where i stay an hour or two longer in the office than i should have um and i don't really ever come up for a but um i've started getting better at realizing when i start to fall into those frames of mind um when i'm prioritizing the wrong things taking the time to really really switch off from work and allowing yourself the headspace to 
reevaluate from time to time to put your values and priorities back in order is um is so important especially after like really heavy periods of work to help you gain perspective again it's very easy to forget about those important things so your family your friends your health you know you you forget about you um which without you nothing else happens you know there's there's so many people out there that can do what you do there's so many filmmakers or dps or directors or whatever like but you are the only person who can be that partner that son that brother sister to the people who actually matter to you so that i feel is where my priority should lie firstly and then the work should be second but in those moments where i allow myself to enjoy life outside of work for a little longer than just a day or two um you realize that there's there's way more to life than just work there's the world is way bigger than the next video that you've got lined up um and I'm, I'm not saying like, don't work hard. Um, keep working hard, keep working towards, you know, your goals and um, aspirations and stuff. But take, take a breath, take those moments and allow yourself to appreciate what's sort of right in front of you outside of work you know appreciate the things that's going on in your life to to hit the reset button from time to time and that's it that's all i've got for this one um like i said i'll, ca I'll, I'll carry on doing these types of videos um in the hope that it uh, brings value to someone some way um, yeah cool